Good morning, class. So, uh, you guys had some homework? Your homework was on fractions. Fraction practice. I gave you skills. 9, 10 and 11. Okay. Sorry. The odd numbers. Okay. So here we go, you mark. Let me know at the end if there's any issues, okay? The first answer is... Fourteen over eight can be written as seven over four. You must simplify that as far as possible. Okay. Huh? What is it? Why is your homework in the bed? Because um, I left my book in the bus, Mr. You lost your book now? No, it's in there. I found it in the morning. On the same bus? Yes. Because I got the same bus. I'm going to school and coming back. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Golden Arrow bus. Nice. And buy the guy a chocolate or a packet of chips. <laughs> huh? To show you appreciative of well, him keeping your bed. Okay. Number two, number three, sorry. Twenty-five over. Okay, I'll do number three on the board. The answer is six and seven over twelve, which is seventy-nine over twelve. Okay. Number five. Thirteen over, oh no, thirty, twenty-three over. Twelve. Number seven. Nineteen over six, or three and a, and a six. Number nine. Sorry. Remember, sixty over thirty-two. Can't simplify. So what number goes into 60 and into 32 without a reminder? 4. Not so? 4 goes into 60 15 times and 4 goes into 32 8 times. So it's eight over, um, 15 over 8. Which is also 1 and 7 over 8. You guys understand? Okay, I'll do number 9 as well. So some of you are looking confused. Number 11? 3. Number 13, 15 over 8 or 1 and 7 over 8. Number 15, 30, 35 over 12 or 2 and 11 over 12. Okay. Number 10. The first one is 2 over 5. Number 3, 5 over 7. Number 5. 5, 11. Number 7? Seven? 7 over 8. Number 9? 2 over 3. Number 11? 3 over 4. Number 13? 3 over 4. Number 5? 15? 9 over 10. Okay, so that seems to be a bit better. Skill 11. Skill 11, number 1? 18. Number 3? 14 kilos. Number 5? 64 rands. Number 7? 30. Number 9? 63 rand. Number 11? 48. Number 13? 25 rand. Number 15? Okay, that sounds better. 351. So let's go to the, to the homework. I mean to the, to the exercise. So...
Number uh, skill skill nine. Okay, so uh, the sums we said we're going to do fifteen and number nine nine and fifteen which page is this on? forty eight Yeah, any other sum in this one that you had also a problem with? So it's only these two. One and three, okay. One and three is fine. Can't do a whole exercise now. So there's other work I also need to do. You still don't understand, you can rewatch the previous video. We have taken time and explained each and every example there, other than number, I think it's one of the sums I left out. Salam, are you? Number Okay, so let's look at number one first. Can we see the same page? 48. Monimus? Right, page 48, number one. So we're going to first change 2 in proper fraction. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So it's 3 over 2 plus 1 over 4. What's my LCM here? 4. So you must multiply that by 2 and the 4 by 1. So it's going to give you 6 plus 1, which is 7 over 4. Or 1 and 3 over 4. Okay? Number 3, we're going to change this to improper fraction first. So three ta uh, 4 times 5 is? Plus 1 is? Over 4 plus. 3 plus 1 is? 4. Over three. What's the LCM? 12. So you must multiply this by? 3. And this by? 4. So three, 21 times 3 is? 63 plus 16. 63 plus 16 is going to give you an answer of 79 over 12. Now 12 can go into 65 times, 72, 6 times. Not so? So it's going to be 6, uh, 6, 72 is 7 over 12. Is that correct? You got it? Okay. Any confusion here? Who asked for number one? Where did you go wrong? You didn't find an LCM. When must you find an LCM? Oh, you didn't multiply the numerators. We must multiply the numerators. Why? It's to equate the equations. You get the equations on the same uh, um, equivalent fractions, in other words. Not equation, fractions, okay. Number three, what's for number three? Yes? And you asked for number five as well. Who asked for number five? You as well. You'll have the same problem. Because I, in number five, you must find an LCM, then you must multiply the numerators, which you're not doing. Okay, so I'll take number five off. Who asked for number nine? Okay. You added your new you you multiplied your numerators. Yeah. Okay, no problem. It's fine. I, I don't mind explaining um, the work again. 
But it's just that if it's the same problem coming in, then, you, then it becomes um, time consuming, okay? Because I have a new work that I want to explain as well. Alright, so let's look at number nine. Uh, go for it, Michael. So what did you get? I got 25 over 8. Yes. And minus 5 over 8. Yes. And then I'm... Yes. What's your LCM? Oh. Yeah. What did you take as your LCM? I didn't do the LCM. But what is your LCM? 32. Oh, no. You see, that, that is the, the reason why I say don't use what, the, what you done in primary school. When you multiply 8 and 4, and then you say 25 times 4 minus 5 times 8. That's what you did in primary school. No? It's not going to work for three, for three fractions. Or four fractions. So, you must learn this method I'm teaching you people. Because when you come to algebra later on, you're working with algebraic fractions. What you've learned in primary school is not going to work. So it'll be difficult to undo that in your head. So while we're working with these numbers, follow the process I'm showing you so that you can apply it to algebra. I have that goal in mind. Okay? So I wouldn't teach you something now that is only for now. Mathematics is continuous. We're building. We're setting building blocks for what is to come. You understand? So to find an LCM here, we must look at the bigger denominator. What's the biggest denominator between 8 and 4? 8. Can 4 go into 8? Yes. yes. Twice. So 8 is your LCM. You see that? So 8 multiplied by what is 8? 1. So 25 times 1 is? 25. There's a minus. 4 times what is 8? 2. So I'm going to get 10. So what is 25 minus 10? 15 over 8. Can you see that? Or 1 and 7 over 8. Next one, number 15. Who asked for number 15? Right, go for it. What did you do here? So I multiply. Yes. So yes, which is correct, 7 over 2 divided by 6 over, 6 over 7. There's your mistake. It's a 5. Yeah. Okay, so what is you supposed to do now? Swap around. Change to multiplication, thumb length times. 7 over 2 multiplied by 5 over 6. You must simplify before you multiply. Is there any numbers that you cancel out there? No, yeah, you said me yes. What did cancel? Nothing. Nothing can simplify. So, 5 times 7 is? 35. 2 times 6 is? Why did I not find an LCM yet? I'm multiplying. You only find an LCM when? Adding and subtracting. So that goes into here. 2 times and 11 over 12 remains. Is that correct? Yes. Just coming back to, um, to the sums that was called out early on. Is your problem solved or still not? Solved. For those of you who got the other sums wrong, you see where you're going wrong. Okay. So that brings us now to skill 12. Expressing quantities as fractions of each other. And this is uh, page 35. Was there any problems with skill 10? Skill 11? The, the answers was coming strong through, that's why I, I 
They don't worry about answering with regards to skill 10 and 11. Yes? The test on Tuesday, yes? Yes. We still need to wrap up the Bodmas in today's lesson as well. No? And then on uh, Monday, we'll start the new Bodmas. Okay. But then we should be done with the fractions. So this is the last thing of fractions that needs to be done. So probably the fractional Bodmas will start tomorrow. Okay. Right. The question says expressing quantities as fractions of each other. The first question is what fraction is? What fraction is 18 minutes of 2 hours? So what, are you, what do you think we're going to do here? We must first convert it to the same unit, SI unit. No? Either minutes, seconds, hours, whatever. Correct? Your hand is up, my girl. Why, why convert hours to minutes and not minutes to hours? No, you are right. But by saying um, hours, you're going to change hours to minutes. It's, it's the logical thing to do. But you could convert minutes to hours as well, which will also be correct. But my question is, why, do we, why would we rather convert it to hour, hours to minutes than minutes to hours? Sorry? It is the right, it's the logical thing to do, which I'm saying is correct. But why from hours to minutes and not necessarily minutes to hours? Yes? Because there are 60 minutes in one Yes. But if you, if you, we ask you to convert 18 minutes to hours, why can't you? Okay. So 30 minutes. Is minutes. How many hours is 30 minutes? Half an hour. Which is 30 over 60. So how many m hours is 18 minutes? 18 over 60. Not so? But my question is, why are we converting from hours to minutes and not necessarily from minutes to hours as I just did? Because it is easier to work with. That's the answer I'm looking for. It's easier to work with. Not so? So the rule we, we give ourselves is that, so you can write this down, we're going to change it to the smaller unit. Okay, we always change it to the smaller unit. Like we have kilometers and meters, which one are we going to change it to? The smaller unit, which is meters. One meter is smaller than one kilometer. Do you understand? If we're looking at minutes and hours, which one is smaller? Minutes. One minute is less than one hour. You understand? Get the idea. So we convert it to the smaller SI unit. So how many minutes are there in an hour? There are 60 minutes. Not so. So if you want, represent this as a quantity or as a, I'm sorry, as a fraction, then this would be simply 60 minutes times 2, which is? 120 minutes, not so. So it's going to be 18 minutes over 120 minutes. You all understand? Then you ask yourselves, okay? Which number goes into 18 and to 120 without a remainder? 6. 6 goes into 18, 3 times. 6 goes into 120, 20 times. So the answer is. Okay, you guys understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's look at number two. 
I'll give you a chance to, to, to do number two before I go into it. Okay, how many are hands, how many cents are, which one is smaller, the hands or cents? Cents. Have you guys seen cents before? Where is it? How many cents are in a hand? Ten. Ten. Ten cents in one hand. It's a hundred cents in one hand. So if it's one hundred cents, it's going to be one hundred multiplied by four, which is? Four hundred. Okay. So to write this as a fraction, it's going to be 20 over 400. So what number goes into 20 and into 400 without reminder? 20. 20 goes into 20 once, 20 goes into 400? No. Uh -uh, she's right, she's right. How, how you get 60? No. The answer is 20. Okay. Because 20 goes into 40 twice, and that's zero that's remaining. So 20 is correct. So what is your answer? Yeah. One over 20. Okay. Let's look at number three. I'm going to go straight into it. Because I need to mark that part mess as well. So number three, 30 cent, 32 centimeters of two meters. Which one is smaller? One centimeter, one meter. Centimeters. How many centimeters are in a meter? One hundred. You all know that, no? All right. So this is going to be one hundred multiplied by two, which is two hundred. So two hundred meters. Uh, sorry, two meters is two hundred centimeters. Okay, so 32 over 200, which number goes into both without remainder? 6 goes into 32, how many times? Not 6. 4, let's go with 4. We know definitely now 4 goes into 32, 8 times. 4 goes into 20, uh, to 20, 5, and there's a 0 remainder. Not so. Or we can say uh, 4 goes into 200. 50 times. Okay. Is there another number that we go into 8 and into 50 without remaining? Yes. yes. Which is? Two. 2. So 2 goes into 8? 4 times. 2 goes into 50? 25. 25. So what is your answer? 4 over 25. Now if you were that kind of girl that would have seen straight, 8 goes into both without remainder, then you would have gotten straight. The answer of 4 over 25. Okay. If you're a girl that can't see the 4 even went in, then you would have said 4 goes into uh, 2. We can now 2 goes into 32 16 times, 2 goes into 200 100 times. Then you can go 2 again, then you'll get 8 over 50. Then you go 2 again, then you get 4 over 25. You guys understand? So, whatever you see the, the, the highest factor to be at the time, that is what you do. So you don't have to go straight into it. But if you can see it, the factor, or the highest common factor that goes into both, then you must do the highest common factor straight. Okay, you guys understand? Number four, four months of two years. How many months are in a year? Twelve. So it's going to be twelve times. Two which is? Twenty-four months. Okay. Four months of twenty-four months gives you four over... 24, which is? What number goes into 4 and into 24 without reminder? 4. 4 goes into 4? 4 goes into 24? 5. 6 times. The answer is 1 over 6. Any confusion? No. Okay. So just coming back to... So uh, did I give you a homework on this yet? No? So your homework is going to be on page... Page 
Skill 12 on page 49. You do for me that skill 12 then. Yeah, you do the odd numbers for me. Did you go to fraction extension? Fraction extension also on page 49. You do for me with number 1A and C. Did you do number five? Okay, is that enough? I want to give you more. Sorry? You want more? Okay. Did you do number six as well? And uh, number six. Will that's enough for tomorrow? Okay. Sorry? Yes. Then we are on board mass primary, we just need to wrap up that last section there. We didn't have a chance to do it yesterday because we spent time marking books. Which I expected all of you to have done your homework, which you didn't. That was meeting your parents on Friday, isn't it? Yes. We'll speak to them about that. Okay, listen, it was a uh, board mess, uh, book D, worksheet three. It was even numbers you had to do, no? Did your parents mark you, assign you your class tests? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Okay, just let's run through this quickly. Otherwise, we're never going to get through this. Right, the first one. 20. Do you want to agree with that? The next one? 38. Any issues here? No. The next one? 100. Any issues here? No. Everybody got that answer? The next one? 91. 91. Yes. And that was, was in the other test you gave you, no? Yes. Nice. Yes. Ah. Remember from the test we just take from here. Yes, that's why you need to do your homework. So you fail, or you don't do well, it's a clear sign you're not doing your homework. The next one? 47. 57. You all agree with that? Yes, Michael. We pause number two. 
Who else got 29 for number 2? Okay. He was called it out immediately, no? Next, 12? 3,000, no, uh, too big. Yes? They got a lie to me, yes? I got 1,150. Who got that? Right, anything else? That's how to be okay. Let's see. There's going to be 125 times 9 minus that is going to give you 64 divided by 4 plus 100 minus 216. Okay? So that's going to give you that, um, 45 is 1822. 9, that's with that. That's going to give you 16 plus 100 minus 1. So you're going to get 1, 125 minus 16, which is, get it, 1, that's 0, 1, 9, 1, 1. Plus 100 is 1, 2, 0, 9. Minus 2, 1, 6. It's going to give you 3, 0, uh, 1, 1, 9, 11, 9. Who got that? Nice. The answer is 993. Okay, uh, the last one? 64. 60. Who got 64? Alright, so we'll accept that. The last, the last, uh, the last one here? 44. Who got 44? Who got a different answer? What do you have? 2 has 200. Right, we'll speak about this in our next lesson. People enjoy the rest of your day? From this part, mess now. The homework is from fractions only. Okay, part of your homework is you must re-answer the test of today. At the back of your book. Good afternoon, good morning class.